like Hideous. I'm an artist, musician. Empire Hideous. So you want to tell me uh, what's going on with that right now? Uh, well, uh, Johnny and I have been working on doing the last album for Empire Hideous to date. It's been about almost three years that we've been working on it. I've just come to a full circle with music, so I've, I'm kind of just fulfilling my my uh, duties in my contract that I have to do for the record label, and uh, that's it. I'm done. I'm done with music. Just gonna follow my art now. How can we find out more about your project? Well, uh, since I kind of when I stopped with the music, I started picking up on uh, a talent that I've had for very a very long time. And uh, I'm an artist, photographer, uh, I do sculpture, paintings, drawings. And when I stopped the music, I started picking up on that talent again. So if anybody wants to see anything that I've been doing, they can go to a, a, the website, which is uh, horribleartwork.com. Very easy to remember, horribleartwork.com. What's next for you? Well, currently we're, we're, um, we're also, I'm working with a producer, director by the name of Paul Basile, and we're making a movie documentary called uh, Living the American Nightmare. And it's, a, it's basically, I'm being featured in it as an independent musician and all the work that I've done over past, the past 20 years. And in addition to my feature, there are gonna be other interviews with musicians, um, bands like Typo Negative, uh, high profile names like Arturo Vega from the Ramones. Um, who else is in that film? Johnny, Bobby Steele from the Misfits, other members of the Misfits. Uh, uh, God, I, I mean, I can go on and on. It's just, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a nice film. It's definitely, it's definitely gonna be a, um, a historical piece when it's all done. It, it's, it's basically, it, it, it's, it's interviewing musicians and showing how they've gotten from le like starting out level to where they are today and what it took for them to get there, what they had to sacrifice and what they had to do to get where they are today. So you would say that you're pretty, uh, you've got a lot of contributions to the goth community or the alternative underground community? Yeah, I, I suppose you could say that. It, it, I think it depends on uh, who you ask. Um, you know, not to toot my own horn here, but I've done music for, I was doing music, particularly The Empire Hideous for about 20 years. So, you know, you talk to one fan and one fan will tell you, well, they're a gothic metal band. Another, ba another fan will tell you, well, they're a gothic rock band. It's all, it's all, you know, it's all relevant. It's they're all part of the same kind of scene. Yeah, I've been a part of it for a long time. What brings you here tonight? Well, um, this club, which I believe is called Element now, or Chaos, <laughs> I'm not even sure, but I used to frequent this club a long time ago, every Saturday night. I think a lot of people here were regulars of this place? That's a good question. I look around and I don't know many, many of these people. That's a newbie. Or I think I'm getting old. It's always good to bring in new blood, right? Of course, absolutely. I've always been into supporting the new generation of people that come into the music scene. I may not know all of them, but you know, these are also some some of the people who come to my shows and have bought my records in the past. So, it, it's a mutual respect, you know. If, it's good to show up every now and then and make a present. I've always been a supporter of the new generation of people that step into a scene and continue to support it. So, You've got to. yeah. Well, um myself once looking for that that niche to fit in and I found it so I can I can appreciate it you're still here man I'm still here yeah very cool what is your favorite thing about Fangoria magazine I used to get Fangoria magazine delivered to my house when I was a little boy at age from from age Oh man, I think from age nine to about age 16. And I still have all the magazines too. You better hold on to them. Yeah, I will, believe me. Uh, I think what really 
got me to uh, become a fan of Fangoria? Well, first of all, I was already already a horror fan, so I, I was already in that 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 frame of mind. But uh, for the magazine itself, it exposed me to a lot of things that you really don't know about the horror uh, making of films, and there's a lot of a lot of not comedy but dark humor that's involved with I think the people who make horror movies because they realize it's not reality and that you do have to have a little bit of sense of humor when you're making films like that so the combination of both horror and a sense of humor was something that appealed to me and it made me understand it and see it in a better light rather than just being dark and scary creepy slasher films or horror films you know it, it opens your mind and you realize that horror films are just entertainment so that's what i got into it for nice thank you i'm mike hideous and this is fangoria